So today is the first day, as you can tell, that everyone is together. <sighs> Look at these two lovers hanging out. Yeah, all is well right there. Now, I don't see Rita. That's the one horse that I don't see. <laughs> Help things along. Oh my goodness, look out, baby, that's a gate. <sighs> hey y'all, it's Sanctuary Saturday and I'm parked here starting on chores. Now, you might be looking around going, where are all the horses? Well, I got something to show you. Look at that beautiful, handsome boy. Well, at least somebody's excited to see us, Lex. <sighs> Voodoo, you look handsome out here. Get away from that barbed wire, buddy. That's too close. What are you ladies doing out here? They're like, oh, mom brought dinner. Look at that picture right there and tell me it's not beautiful. I mean handsome, Voodoo. You look handsome, buddy. So handsome. Oh, and Indy's out here too. So pretty. I know. I know. So, look at these two lovers hanging out. Yeah, all is well right there. Now, I don't see Rita. That's the one horse that I don't I'm see. I'm going to start throwing out some hay so that way we can see who makes it up. Lex is out here with the Lex box and his two minis <laughs> checking things out. All right, so I got green hay laid out, even though this field looks stunning. If you remember in the back years ago, this was full of saplings and all kinds of things and it's gotten so cleaned up, they were able to bale it now and then let these guys come and graze it. Now, hi Bevy, how are you? Stay away from that wire. That's a new little plot twist of what you're used to. Hi, Bucky's. How's it going with your lady friend, huh? Are you enjoying yourself? Don't be embarrassed. It's okay. She's a beautiful thing. Look at these guys. Come on, Rita. Come on, Danny. Come on, Stormy. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could whistle today. You know how I tease Brienne for not being able to whistle once? <clears throat> guilty. A million percent guilty right now. <whistles> there we go. I, I wet my whistle and it, it helped things along. Oh my goodness. Look out, baby. That's a gate. <sighs> this girl. So today is the first day, as you can tell, that everyone is together in hi hello in the pasture out back so what we were noticing is that everybody's just hanging out by the barn and never leaving now rita and stormy would go graze in their pasture but we wanted them to be able to commingle but also have enough space to do so when you get up near the corral area and where we have our round pen things can get a little bit how do I say this? Uh, crowded and congested. What are you doing down there, baby? Now I see Rita's been rolling in the mud. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, Rita. Been rolling in the mud and I also see a bobo on her side. So she must've got caught in something. Hey, settle it down. And this may not work out to happen all the time. But what I'm doing right now is feeding them. So that way, whew, we. So that way, whenever the time comes for me to open this gate and they want to come up, they've already eaten and there's nothing to race up for. Stormy, you've been in the mud too, baby. My goodness. Sweet girl, come over here. Come on, look. There's green hay over here. She's like, I don't want any green hay. I kind of, I just want to go back up and rest, Mom. It's been a long day already. I know, baby. Hi, beautiful. Be careful, that's too close to the wire. You're freaking me out right now. Oh, poor Dan. Ugh. Rita, let him eat. 
there's plenty of piles right there. I guess I'm gonna have to go put Dan's food out somewhere else. Lord almighty. So, I can't stay too long and talk about them because what will happen is they will all run up after me. Maybe I will just leave this open and head up and then nobody can say I caused problems later. Aren't they beautiful though? Let me, let me at least get this shot because Wow, what a herd, what a fantastic herd. That's right, I called y'all a herd, like together. Stormy's like, I don't know if I would go that far. <laughs> oh, look at them all, so beautiful. Nobody moved whenever I turned the side by side on, so I decided oh, I'm gonna stay just a smidge longer and get this image right here in my viewpoint. So as I was mentioning, today is the very first day that everybody's been in the same pasture together. And we brought them all the way out back to avoid any bottlenecking, any territory fighting. Like this is a pasture that they have not been grazing on. We cut this hay field a couple weeks ago. So it is fresh and able to be grazed as well. And <clears throat> What's neat about it is when I came back here, everybody sort of had their own space, their own hangout place and was doing their own thing. Now, Rita, of course, is Rita and she is young and feisty and establishing dominance and the one that we all have to look out for, to be honest. And when I say we all have to look out for is like none of us trust her and I don't even think she trusts herself at this point in time. I think that she's just a little wild card and that probably should have been her name. But either way, today she is Margarita, and uh, she's a little spicy, and you can tell she's been rolling in the mud, and, and she's been giving everybody a hard time, but at the same time, the herd will tell her where her place is, and it's good, yeah, see, just like that, and um, that's my fault for throwing those hay bales too close together, that tomorrow will be another lesson, and then the reason that we're feeding them all the way out here is because I don't want them, to, I didn't want to open the gate and have them all rushing up and fight the whole way up what I call the hallway. The hallway is a very narrow 16 foot across uh, space where they can get in each other's faces and try to, to beat each other. It's just like kindergartners racing to be first for whatever it is that they're going to. Like that's pretty much what I'm working with here. It's kind of neat to see all the donkey girls together. Dan of course has found his own space and then you got this donkey poodle here who bundles up with voodoo. And um, it's a very interesting herd, that's all I'll say. But they sure do look beautiful. And as I mentioned before, there's, there's just like nothing like this skyline right here. And I'm just pleased that no one got hurt today. I saw a little scratch on Rita's side, but I'm not sure if that, uh oh, here comes some shuffle. I'm not actually sure if that is from her rolling because she's caked in mud right now. Um, and she rolled on a, you know, a stick or something like that. Or if she did get bump up to barbed wire because this is probably her first barbed wire experience with us anyway. So I'll treat that whenever they get up here and I get her a little calmed down. But right now she's a little feisty and um, it's understandable. It's a brand new space for her. Everybody's learning where they fit in line. Stormy seems to be completely unbothered by everyone and I really like, really like to see that. Anyway, now I really am gonna go up because if he moved over to eat with Bucky's, that means that he was tired of eating with Indy and that there could be a further shuffle and I don't want anybody chasing me or running after this side by side. So, we'll call today the merge, the herd merge and uh, the herd merge. That sounds so funny. Uh, and I think that we're going to call it a success. Nine. A herd of nine.